Hey guys, it's Bored John, and when Bored John is bored, Bored John likes to watch 90s commercials because it's the only way he can feel alive anymore. I'm joined with my co-host Roxas. Say hello, Roxas. Roxas, say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. What a, what a talker. Okay, so we're back with more commercials. Uh, I'll probably do what I did last time, do like a couple of them, and do like the, um, what did I finish the other one off with? Um sounds and visuals that kids remember uh from like the 90s so yeah so let's go straight talk and sound advice from people who know at first source we want to be your best source when it comes to fast easy and convenient loans that's why we have loan source apply for a loan by phone 24 hours a day simply call 1-800-235-CASH to apply for your loan by phone or stop in any of our convenient locations. Loan source from first source, because we're your partners from the first. Bob, what's up? Bob, do wow. Da, da, down. Manicotti stuffed with ricotta cheese, fettuccine Alfredo, and spaghetti with meatballs. The ultimate platter at Fazoli's. Proof you really can have it all. Kids' meals, just $1.99. Fazoli's Real Italian, real fast. Keep it right here on 22 WSBT. In just 30 minutes on News 22 Night Shift. I'm Mike Collins. The moving wall shines bright tonight as candles light the way to healing. Plus, see who wants to take the gamble in your town in just 30 minutes on Michiana's News Channel. CBS, welcome home. I just have to say, I miss driving in that kind of weather. You know, being a kid and, you know, there were so many times during, you know, around Thanksgiving, it seemed like every Thanksgiving it just started to snow. You know, we'd go over to our aunt's house and just as we're pulling up, it would get just, you know, just a little bit of flurries and we'd be there for a couple of hours and we'd go out and there's this nice blanket of snow, like a foot of snow. Uh, and then you're driving home in it, or we would go to uh, the store, and we would come out, and everything would be so dense, like you, it would be snowing so much you couldn't see in front of you. And then we had to drive home, uh, and it was it was crazy. It was, but it was so relaxing and it was so quiet. It is just we don't get that around here. When it snows around here, we get like rain and snow mix, and so it doesn't really stick or anything. It just kind of freezes, and then you get black ice, and then you're like, oh, hey, I can't come to work because they didn't salt over here, and uh, it's pretty dangerous. So I'm, I'm staying in the house today. But then you're like, oh, but I still have to get stuff, and then you end up having to walk down to the store and, you know... One year, it was just like Silent Hill. That's what it looked like. It was complete fog. There were cars abandoned in the middle of the road. The light was, you know, just a red light. Just It was silent. It was just, it was eerily quiet. You just expected to see just some kind of figure coming out from the fog. It was so creepy, but it was so relaxing, too, because of how silent it was. There was no sound at all. No birds. No dogs, no cars, no nothing. So I miss driving and stuff like that. Or I just miss, I miss snow in general. It snows around here and then it like melts the next day. So anyway. Chevy Blazer, the only sport utility vehicle with a driver control system. It's nice to know it's there. 
There is a need in all of us, a need to get back to our beginnings. There is Biolage, with restorative botanicals to renew the life of your hair. Biolage, from Matrix, expanding the salon experience. Color safe bleaching action all whitens without bleach. Let those kids do what they're gonna do. You got ALL left and stands for you. So relax. I thought I knew it all till you came. Now you cry and I don't know why. What are you thinking? Can you dream? So maybe I don't know it all. Like making the right decisions for your future. You're the helpless one. But I'm the one who needs a hand now. There is more at stake now. Ask a Merrill Lynch financial consultant who can help with a plan and more ways to make the plan work than anyone else. The difference is planning. The difference is Merrill Lynch. Hey, Mom, when are we going to watch the video? You got the pillows? Got the pillows. How about your seats? Got my seats. Anything else? Pizza rolls. Got them. Totino's Pizza Rolls. Big pizza taste in every little bite-sized snack. So, you got the movie? Tino's Pizza Rolls, hot, good, gone on video night. Oh my god, Pizza Rolls. It's like one of those things that just feel like they tasted different when you were a kid. And I, I wouldn't be surprised because there's a lot of things that I had when I was a kid that they just like changed the recipe and formula to. The biggest one I, I bring up is Dunkaroos. Not only do they look different, you know, the Dunkaroos back in the day were like, you know, actual shapes. They had like the little kangaroo... And, you know, the, the frosting was way better. Nowadays, the frosting looks really sad and depressed, and they're just these little D medallion type things, and it just it doesn't look or taste the same as it. It just, I mean, and then I looked up, and they did, in fact, change the recipe for it, so. But pizza rolls. I mean, I still enjoy me some pizza rolls, but, um, you know, Depending on how, what, if you have time, I mean, they're perfectly fine in the microwave. Uh, but, uh, you know, they're going to be a little soggy. But when it comes to, like, dipping stuff, it's actually kind of better, especially if you have, like, a little container. Because when they're cooked and they're crunchy, it's kind of hard to kind of scoop it out because they're sharper edges. And But when they're kind of, you know, on the softer side, you can kind of, kind of like... Uh, like when I buy the medicine, I like I use these like the little tiny things as like uh, dipping cups, and when they're harder, you know, when they're cooked, you know, you try to stick it in and like move it around to get the you know like whatever you put in there, and it just it doesn't get it very well because it's just stiff. But then you have like it when it's softer and you can actually get everything around the side, and so. But it's it's really a preference it's like oh well do i feel like cooking them today or do i just feel like putting them in the microwave i mean obviously they taste better in the um the oven but if you're just hungry and you just want to eat you just stick them in the microwave they're just as good i mean they're not going to be you know crunchy or anything but I mean, it's still a pizza roll they still hold their shape somewhat i know some people like to bite the tip like a uh, side off and like you know the inside out which is Kind of weird but i do that with like burritos like when i fry up burritos i'll like make a hole in the middle scoop out all the beans and all that and, and then i'll have just have the shell part don't judge me but yeah pizza rolls still love me some pizza rolls they're freaking expensive now though like a bag of like 50 used to be what are they now like six dollars they used to be like four Thanks, Bidenomics. Anyway, but yeah, put, uh, pizza rolls. I think probably pepperoni, just simple pepperoni. The three cheese, uh, the three meat one, just kind of weird. Combination ones just kind of taste weird for some reason. But I think pepperoni. They also have um, it looks like a buffalo wing style one. I think I've tried that. It's not that great. There's been a few I think they they've come out with, but. Just good old traditional pepperoni for me. Let me know yours. Buy E.T. the extraterrestrial on video cassette and get a $5 rebate when you buy five of these Pillsbury products, including Totino's Pizza Roll. Meet Friday's Fun Couple. Why am I here? Because you're cute. 
two spies, no names, and no limits. All new Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Then Nash makes it all look easy. You're my new personal god. But this case just got complicated. Who's the target? You're it. All new Nash Bridges, CBS Friday. A cop with nothing to lose. Somebody kill my partner. What if that person is me? Then I'm gonna kill you. A lawyer with everything to gain. You wouldn't be wired, would you, detective? Pat me down. Trouble is, I know where you'd wear it. And a crime boss who can destroy them both. They will meet on Easy Streets. Sunday, October 27th, contains adult content. I was wearing a turquoise blouse and shorts. Two pair of tennis shoes, I think. It was blue jeans. <laughs> and I was sitting in my lazy boy with my bathrobe on. Maybe a hat. I was in bed. I had my arm in a sling and I was wearing that. Everyone at the bank is real, real nice to me. This Saturday's Who's Your Lotto jackpot is an estimated $7 million. Man, that's a big one. Got my ticket. You know I got a ticket. If even half of what Steve Goldsmith says about me and his negative ads were true, I'd have to stop my grandkids from watching TV. But I think most Hoosiers see through the misleading attacks. And to me, this election isn't about politics as usual. It's about how we keep Indiana moving forward. Cutting taxes, raising standards at our schools, tougher sentences for violent crime. Instead of politics as usual, I believe you deserve straight talk and common sense solutions. Between oat milk and almond milk. All right. 1990s, it, these, like the, the further back ones don't really say what month or what year. It's just 1990s, volume 499. It's about an hour each way, but somehow in my Taurus, I don't mind. I've never liked storms. Now I don't really notice them much. It seems like everything's getting more streamlined. I wish I could say the same for myself. For so many people, for so many reasons. Ford Taurus, the best-selling car in America. There's a little fun in every bottle of Tante Blanc du Noir. Open up your senses to an incredible new taste in champagne. Tante Blanc du Noir, alive, unexpected. Join in. There's a little fun in every bottle. Taste it in Tots Blanc du Noir. Zoom, Max the Mountain, the Merriment. Zoom, Max the Mountain, the Grim. Zoom, Max the Mountain, the Moments in the Fun. Zoom, Maximize the Fun. The Sure Shot Zoom Max. From Canon. You now command the supreme power in the universe, Railvac Renewal, a new kind of alkaline battery created to be reusable. Renewal batteries outlive copper tops because they're reusable 25 times or more. They outperform old-fashioned rechargeables because you get alkaline power in every charge. More power, more game time. That's the power of renewal from Railvac. between sundown and sunrise comes Stetson Sierra. So distinctive, it's the new power of attraction. Tuesday, is it the season to tie the knot? We're finally going to set our wedding date. Maybe not. I'm going to anchor the network news in New York. Full house, then. What makes you think you can get married? Is Brian fit to be tied? Hey, Mom. On feet off. What happened? We're engaged. Right after Full House, Tuesday. Oh, Full House. Bob Saget, that man. You know, Bob Saget from, you, you know, you remember him from like Full House and America's Funniest Home Videos. And then you hear his stand up and just how disgusting and foul mouthed he is. And you're like, Danny Tanner? That man had a mouth, quite a mouth on him. Quite frankly, it was so bad, it makes me blush sometimes. I mean, people haven't heard the kind of jokes I could dish out. Uh, and in the end, that's what they are. They're jokes. 
because back in the day, people were allowed to tell jokes. There was no ill intent. There was no deeper meaning. They were jokes. But, um, yeah, Full House. Not exactly the best show. You know, it, it kind of followed. It's like the first act is, you know, the setup to a problem. The, the second, the first act is the setup for the problem. The second act is kind of following it through and solving the problem. And the third act is like the, the resolution where they all sit down or whoever. And there's that cheesy music in the background. There's a life lesson given to you. And, so, you know, once that life lesson is given to you, there's some kind of corny joke added right at the end. And it's just, it follows the same every single time every single time well deej you know sometimes uh you know sometimes uh you know people people change you know it's it's part of growing up uh but but what's important is not forgetting about who you are you know don't don't make yourself uh be someone else just to please other people you know you know what i'm talking about deej i know what you're talking about dad and then they'll say some kind of stupid joke or whatever and then you hear ah, ha, 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 ha. and same thing every every episode every episode oh the people on that show though man between danny tanner and actually <laughs> the olsen twins uh what's her name um uh what's her name oh god i can't remember her name and Becky can't remember the actress's actual name, but her whatever scandal thing she was in. Has Dave Coulier been in one or John Stamos? Not sure. But yeah. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation returns in a moment. Chi Chi's new barbecue burrito isn't just grilled, it's twice grilled. Char grilled steak or chicken, sauteed vegetables, wrapped, then grilled again with Tex Mex barbecue sauce. And now the twice grilled barbecue burrito is served with fried ice cream at Chi Chi's. What's for lunch at Chi Chi's? Anything you want. Everything you want. Now, all you can eat. Just $4.99. Chi Chi's Mexifest Buffet. For lunch. When I was in California, there was a really small, like, mom and pop Tex, you know, Mexican place. And they had these chimichangas that were massive. And they were, like, five bucks. They were, like, this freaking big. And they were just fried to perfection. And they were, like, five bucks. And I remember me and my friends would go there all the time because I was the one with the money. And we would just, we would order those. We'd order, like, nachos. We'd order... Uh, what was it else that we ordered? Something else we ordered, but, uh, yeah. It was really good. That much for that little was so good. I just, if I could go back in time and just bring those people here to where I am now and have them set up shop somewhere like down at the pizza place that's no longer a pizza place because the pizza place now moved next door. I mean, it's still here. It's just not in that small building anymore. So they could set it up there. And I could have those chimichangas all I wanted. Those things were good. Linda Hirsch has hot scoops on your favorite soaps. Monday. Tonight's movie now continues. My dad was uh, 18 when he started selling automobiles. He sold the Dickens out of them. We're an automobile family. I was one of the, the first 32 retailers and Saturns in the nation. The Saturn way was to not rush somebody. We let the customer walk around and look. Some people were so surprised by that, they'd get in the car and drive off, sometimes mad. How you doing? After we explained it to them, they liked it a lot. I wish my daddy was still around to see this Saturn thing, but I don't know. It's different. 
no matter what their children do. It's Christmas, Pop. Be polite. These parents Idiots. keep acting like kids. Eat my shorts. At least you can make peace with the man. Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau. The grumpier they are. Damn kids. The funnier they get. Do the world a favor and pull your lip over your head and swallow. Grumpy old man. <laughs> Rated PG-13. Starts Christmas Day at a theater near you. Yeah. Every time you have an awful cold, do you try a new cold remedy? Still looking for one that's right for you? Well, the search is over because finally there's a cold medicine good enough to be called Robitussin. Introducing Robitussin Liquid Gels, powerful non-drowsy relief for your stuffy nose, chest congestion, and of course, cough. If you want sympathy, keep searching. Feeling better? If you want powerful relief, yeah. good. Take new Robitussin Liquid Gels. Finally, Robitussin relief for your cold. Have you smelled Clorox bleach lately? Smells like a lemon fresh from the tree. Fresh, fresh lemon, fresh. Smells like a clean, fresh lemon bleach. Fresh, fresh lemon, fresh. Lemon fresh Clorox bleach. Well, that looks delicious. I bet that go great with a nice big bowl of Tide Pods. Or is... No, you know what? No, no. But yeah, just have a bowl of Tide Pods, just pour some lemony bleach on that and just go to town. I'm joking. Don't do it, people. Okay. It's called a joke. Otherwise, I have to freaking deal with people like, oh, he's promoting bad behavior. It's a fucking joke, people. Get over it. <laughs> mistaken for red perfume i'm a little sexy as fabulous as red but smarter and i'm primo if you like giorgio you'll love primo Who do they think they are? designer imposters by parfums de coeur i'll be home for mci introduces friends and family days a 50 percent savings on calls to your calling circle on christmas day time for the toast could we wait a moment longer dear Chevy Cavalier with standard anti-lock brakes and $500 cash back until January 4th. I don't know about you, but I'll be sleeping well tonight. Make your money count. See your local Chevy Geo dealer today. Event ends January 4th. Diamonds, the intriguing fragrance from Elizabeth Taylor. For the holidays, five precious parfums, yours for $25. Great! Once in a lifetime interview and you oversleep? Move it! Norelco introduces the Compact Speed Racer. When you have to put your best face forward on the go, the new Norelco Speed Racer. Close and comfortable to go. I'm going to give me some of that cool whip. I love cool whip. That's right, cool whip. No, but cool whip is pretty good. Sometimes you don't even have to put it on anything. Sometimes you could just be fat like me and just like, you know, like people with mayonnaise. For some reason, people like eat mayonnaise directly from the jar, which is freaking gross. But you can just take the cool whip and just like eat it from, you know, Maybe put some, like, chocolate syrup in there and make, like, a chocolate mousse type thing. Probably a lot tastier than a spoonful of mayonnaise. Why would anyone do that? It's like, oh, yeah, I like to... I like a spoonful of mayonnaise, and I like to dip it in pickle juice. It's like, what is wrong with you? Seek help immediately. Season. Give your family something 
special. Yay! The story of a remarkable friendship. I love you, Willie. One of the most heartwarming films of the year at a price you can afford. Yeah! Free Willie for sale wherever videos are sold. This place. It's the new Burger King Everyday Value Menu. Now featuring a flame broiled Whopper, golden fries, and a drink for only $2.99. Just one of the many Burger King favorites. At new lower everyday prices. Check your Burger King for their everyday low prices. And also for a limited time, try the delicious flame broiled chili cheeseburger. It's two flame broiled beef patties topped with hearty chili and melted cheese. Chili on a cheeseburger. Only at Burger King. Value every day. Have it your way. We've been going out for six months, and I didn't know what to get him, so I asked my sister. A book. Too impersonal. Mom underwear. Very funny. Prenuptial agreement? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Where? Marshalls. Yeah. Cool shirt. I can afford this. Jim would love this. I thought we were shopping for my boyfriend. We are. Men's nylon warm-up suits, just $49.99. At department stores, $90. Hubba, hubba. It's better than long underwear. I never pay full price. Marshall. Those prices at uh, Burger King. Anybody miss those kinds of prices? Being able to go in and buy a meal and actually being able to afford it rather than now going in and buying like a single sandwich and buy, having to pay like 15 bucks for it. Yeah. Yeah, I miss those days too. I also miss the way he said, China. Okay, so I think the last we're going to watch is going to be like the... um. The visual sound one. I just got to pull one up. We're back with the next installment of even more sounds and visuals every 90s kid remembers. And then the actress turned you grew up to be a freaking clown. Uh but yeah, Lunette, Molly, you had the Dust Bunnies, you had Major Bedhead, uh Granny Gum Granny Garbanzo, you have the the woman whose name I can't freaking remember, but she sang a lot. Um but yeah. You know, they had the tie ten second tidy, and sometimes it would take less than ten seconds, sometimes it'd be like twenty seconds. So then it's not really the 10 second tidy now, is it, you lying bitch? But it was, it was a fun show. It was a fun show. Wow. That is... mm. Once you find yourself in the middle of most sandwich cookies, you'll find there's not so much middle in the middle. Oh, you're telling me. But now there's new cookies and cream Dunkaroos. You can make a sandwich cookie with as much frosting as you want in the middle. Because you take special chocolatey cookies and dunk them into creamy white frosting, then put them together for a sandwich cookie that puts you in the middle of a lot of fun. Mm. New cookies and cream Dunkaroos. Lots of middle. Lots of fun. Hey now kids, come get around. See what just skipped in the town. So skip it, skip it. Do run, do jump, do hop, hop. Skip it, skip it. Scooping and a screaming and a bop, bop, bop. But the very best thing of all, there's a counter on this ball. So try to beat your very best score. See if you can jump a whole lot more. Skip it, skip it. Come on, everybody, skip it. Roaring good fun from Tiger Toy. Jaguar of the Inca King. We are hiding from the conquistadors in the secret city of Vilcabamba. We are sick with a fever. We need medicine that only you can bring. Follow me 
me back in time through the blue mist up the Amazon River to rescue my people. enjoyed the good life. Though they all looked slightly different, different eyes, noses, hair, feet, such differences meant nothing to the Zumbinis. Here's how I slash them. And so they lived happily on Zumbini Isle, making small useful products which were prized the world over. Well, that all changed when the Fire Nation attacked. These celebrity panelists will try to uncover some highly unusual secrets. So if you want to guess along with the panel, cover your... Okay, figure it out. Great concept. Had kids on there with the dumbest talents. I can... My name is Jacob, and I'm 12 years old, and I can stick my foot in my mouth. Or... My name is Monica. I'm 15 years... No, or probably younger. Like, 10 years old, and I can blow boogers out of my ass or something. I don't know. It's something always stupid. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it was the game that mattered. You know, you had the, you know, celebrity celebrities, just basically like Nickelodeon people, like the cast of all that, or Amanda, uh, Drake, or Josh, or someone ears and close your eyes here comes our first secret now hi my name is lisa schmidt i'm from california and i play giant japanese drums welcome to figure it out where kids at home try to figure out what the kids here are doing our celebrity panel's job is to figure out why two contestants are here the catch is they can only ask yes or no questions and here's our totally all that panel now the follicularly challenged stage manager kevin Kovalo. he's leroy leon frierson the human slime magnet, Danny Tamborelli. And finally, the Terminator, Lori Beth Denberg. Danny always seemed to get slimed, and Lori Beth was like the smartest one. She was like, she always had like last pack magic kind of thing. You know, it's like, it's your last shot, and she managed to get the whole thing. She was, she was just good at what she did. Probably because she was so much older than everyone else. Uh, but Summer Sanders hosting, and there were some times when she, it looked like the, um, the, you know, the, the studio might have been very, um, cold. Pretty, it was kind of obvious that that studio must have been cold sometimes. But yeah. Yeah, it was a simple enough show. Oh, man. Figure it out. Let's watch. They try to figure it out. All right, remember when you say one of the words on Bill the Answer Head, you will hear this sound. And we'll turn it on over for you. It's as easy as that. If you hear this sound. Yeah. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Before it even starts. Before it even starts, you know what's coming. You know it's coming. Legends of the Hidden Temple with your guide, Kurt Fogg. And here he is now. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Here he is now! 
Unfortunately, Olmec didn't seem to be very enthusiastic there. Sometimes he like really enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastically does that. Also, the shrine of the silver monkey. No one seemed to know how to do that thing. It's a simple thing. You have the base of the monkey. You have the torso of the monkey and you have the head of the monkey. The base of the monkey is rectangular. There's a rectangular spot, which clearly it goes into. And yet you have some people putting like the torso on the bottom and trying to stick the head. And it, 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 what? It, it's what? And then you have the temple guards. And I've seen one episode where, you know, the temple guards, there's like two or three of them uh, throughout the temple. And, you know, they, they catch you. If you have the pendant of life, you can give it to them and keep going. Well, at the very beginning, you get to choose whether you want to go the upper path or the, the bottom path. And one of the people decided to go the lower path, which is through the, the rocky looking area. And as soon as she got in, a freaking temple guard pops out. I'm like, that's not even fair. Not even two seconds into the damn thing. And she can temple guard. No, no, you shouldn't have done that. That that's cheap. That's freaking cheap. Thank you, Olmec. Welcome to the Hidden Temple. The rooms are filled with lost treasures that are protected by mysterious Mayan temple guards. Olmec knows the legend behind each of the treasures in his temple. We got the masses. Assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. It's Kablam! Henry and June. It was it was a great show. It was like a you know, like a a mix of things. You know, you had Action League Now, Life with Loopy, Sniz and Fondue, Prometheus and Bob. Uh it just a bunch of like different type of little little skits and stuff like that. It was so good. It was so cool. Uh and then there was like the one episode everyone remembers where Henry and June become real people. So they're like these little drawn characters, but then like they became real people. There was an episode where they were actually in the real world and they were real people. Um, but yeah, it was such a, it's such a great show. Um, you know, action, action league. Now it's just all like action figures. Starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. You know, that, that kind of thing. And I see this after Rugrats. Yeah, he grew to, you know, he ended up being a freaking weirdo, too. Um, but yeah, that was like the one day in class you didn't mind. Like, normally when they said, oh, we're going to get out the, 
the VCR and all that. It's like, oh, it's going to be some crap. But then you get some Bill Nye, and you're like, oh, okay, I can deal with this. I can deal with this. Because it was always fun. It's like putting on Bob Ross or something. It's It may not be the best, but I mean, well, Bob Ross. Bob Ross is the best. But, you know, compared to what you could have been doing in class that day, Bill Nye, I mean, you still have, like, a test or some quiz at the end, but, you know, didn't really matter. Didn't really matter, because... Because of Bill Nye, everything got stuck in your little brain holes and, you know, you're able to remember everything. But yeah, Bill Nye, the science guy, whether it be in school or out of school, you're watching it. You were singing it. And it's just a shame that that guy turned out to be a freaking weirdo. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, let's see, um, Snorlax. They're not even going to tell us who it was. I wanted to know if it was Snorlax. I'm good. Me, Mario. Snap together color coded construction set. I was Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll, 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 Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde. I saw that the other day. I'm like, wow. That will just like randomly pop up in my head sometimes with freaking brain. You know, Jekyll, Jekyll, Hyde, Jekyll, Hyde, Hyde, Jekyll. Uh, Peebs loves Arthur. I used to read the books all the time. I used to check them out all the time from the uh, the library. Between Arthur, uh, the scary stories to tell in the dark, uh, stuff like that. But wow. Back when he actually looked like an aardvark. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. Uh, yeah, he looked like an aardvark back then. But now he has, like, regular ears but then like he puts his headphones on the side of his face you know he likes to feel the vibrations i guess is the part of this complete breakfast that's spangled from every angle with sprinkles. Mm, I just wish I had a bigger bowl. Hey, you wish it, I dish it. New Sprinkle Spangle cereal. <laughs> and the clown jumped over the moon. I think it was my brothers who were always afraid that there was like something going to pop up behind that couch. It was like, it's too serene, too quiet, too just unsuspecting. You just expect to see like a demonic version of Molly peeking out from behind the couch or something. 
I'm like, no. No. But wow. Whew. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet. Who's that Pokemon? I'm telling you, it's Storlax. No one can tell me otherwise. It's a me, Mario. Hello. Anyway, that was 90s commercials and even more, more sounds every 90 kids remembers. Every 90s kid remembers. Uh, next one will be the same thing, and I think there's like one more of these after this. So, yeah. Memories. No. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.